Hey folks, welcome to Bergeichland. I think that's how you say it. Uh, this is where I'm going to be starting a new series. Maybe not this week because videos are proving difficult to get produced. Um, but what I am going to show off is the edit to the animal food editions that I've made that I plan to use on here. And there should be a link below if you want to grab it off of the Maze Plus Discord as well to use in your games. So what's different about this one? So this only affects the cows, sheep, pigs and horses. Um, I haven't done anything with chickens because I'm not a fan of doing stuff with chickens. I've got far too many windows open and the game sound has probably just dropped away. Um, yeah, so it affects everything except chickens and basically it removes grain from their diets um, for cows and sheep that certainly seems sensible uh, I know in some of the communities that I float around in on social media outside of gaming uh, grass fed grain free meat is a big positive for people um, so we have removed the grain from uh, the cows and the sheep I'm not sure if there was any actually in sheep and I don't have the original one open handy we've also done it for pigs now I'm not a farmer I am a gamer and a scientist um, well, I don't know if what I've done is completely accurate or not but I've also removed grain from pigs we've gone heavy on the root crops and some silage and some uh, grass and clover same with horses I have removed oats from the horse feed um, this is based on googling that if you give them enough hay you don't need to give them uh, oats um, so we'll have a quick look in the uh, seasons menu because I have seasons on because I always play with seasons um, so we have a cow barn that has 20 cows in it um, water and straw as usual the straw is actually not straw on here because i'm setting up for a game where i'm going to use wood chips and i'll show that in a separate video um, so for the uh, four food groups as usual first food group is a silage group so grass clover or alfalfa silage and we have a hay group hay clover hay or alfalfa hay we have a specific bar for mineral feed um, I've seen loads of people commenting on the Alien Pools Discord and a few other places um, or the Farming Agency Discord about wanting to require to have mineral feed so there's a bar for mineral feed and we'll get to how that works in TMR in a minute and then we have a bar for grass, clover and beet shreds the clover and beet shreds are there because with seasons obviously I'm just going to switch this uh, telehandle off um, Clover and beet shreds are there because obviously with seasons you can't store grass. Um, clover bales you can store, they don't rot because the seasons mechanic doesn't affect them, but maybe you consider that unrealistic. So I've got beet shreds as well instead. Um, moving on to the pigs, we've got, as I said, grass or clover. Again, clover because um, in the winter you can't get grass. Clover or alfalfa silage, um, they're a high protein silage, I believe. Um, and then uh, potatoes carrots and potato shreds and then beets beet shreds and beet pulp um, eh, I don't know how realistic it is but it's what I've put in there uh, we've got a sheep pen and rather than doing what I've done on some other ones and just going to one bar we have a bar for silage so that's grass clover or alfalfa silage and then a bar for grass or hay and um, so that gets us around the problem with feeding in the winter um, and then for horses, um, and I have a problem that these guys are fully fed, so we'll buy some more horses. Um, we've got grass or horse silage, and then hay, alfalfa hay, or horse hay, and then carrots. So we will take a look at each of these in turn. I will cover TMR for the cows when we get there as well. So I'm going to tackle these in order of uh, A, what I enjoy, and B, what I think, think people are interested in. Um, so we're going to start with the cows if you heard that that was uh, a reminder for an event on another laptop so we've got some uh, doika mineral mineral feed loaded up on the pallet forks um, this is a really nice cow shed actually as well but yeah if we just drive into the feed trigger we can feed it direct off of a pallet if we want uh, 
so that will have filled up the uh, mineral feed bar um, if you don't do that then TMI will do it for you um, so we will look at mixing up some TMR next and uh, if I jump in our little feed mixer which I've never used one of these self-propelled feed mixers before well I have but only where I've been testing here um, so if I just uh, get the information up that I need on my other screen because I can't memorize all this stuff uh, so I guess the other thing to cover is that if you're using the power food that you can buy in the store that will cover clover silage and grass windrow so that covers off two of the big bars on here um, so if we scroll down here so I have edited the uh, the TMR mix that you use on here um, so we've got a hay bar which is either grass clover or alfalfa hay and that can be up to 50% uh, straw is the standard 0 to 35% grass silage is 0 to 50% clover and alfalfa silage are both 0 to 50% as well in the minerals section we have a minimum requirement of five percent so you have to put some mineral feed in so you've got to buy that from the store uh, maximum of 15 percent uh, we then have uh, the filtered water section that actually includes molasses as well and that's a zero to 15 percent uh, bee pop silage is zero to 15 percent and then we have a root crop section which is labeled as sugar beet uh, that's zero to 15 percent again and covers sugar beet potato carrots beet shreds and potato shreds um, so you can see at the moment we have some mineral feed in the mixer and we're now just going to go through and try and make up a TMR mix um, I have not worked out my maths for this so we're going to be winging it ever so slightly It doesn't need to be perfect it just needs to be tmr there are so many ways to make this with uh yeah there, there are lots of items that you can put in that can be 50 percent of the mix obviously you've just got the minimum that you need at least five percent of the um minerals so we'll grab a couple of bales of grass silage so you can see i've been doing a bit of testing with this um, because I wanted to make sure different things worked before I looked at releasing it and also because I wanted to know that it worked before I started playing a game with it because personally having done some of these edits before getting part way through and finding damn it just does not work come on there we go let go of the bales and we're in um, and I have my detection distance set quite short for the um, mini hud at the bottom and annoyingly i have another in mod installed which is kind of conflicting with that which is a little bit annoying uh, but we've got a load of grass silage in there now i think we will grab some alfalfa silage which is these pink bales over here uh, i'm not worried about getting a full mixer um, obviously the amounts that you need to use will vary depending on your mixer and also, you know, if you're using loose silage versus baled, versus, depending on what size your bales are, that will all be different for your game. If we spin around now, how are we doing? We uh, need a bit more of something else. So we'll put a bale of hay in. Normally what I will do on a game is uh, find a mix that works for what I have available uh, and what I'm producing to feed my cows and I will generally stick to that then that, as I said that, that will vary depending on your game and what you're producing uh, there we go so do we have TMR we have a TMR we have nearly 14,000 litres of TMR so we'll jump in the Stroutman and we'll uh, yeah, just double check so hold down the right mouse button and you can see we're all in the green we've got just over five percent of mineral and we'll just go and feed this to our cows so i say i've not used one of these before i believe if you've got loose silage and things you can pick it up with the uh thing on the front 
Clip, not a farmer, a gamer, and a scientist. Yeah, if we just take a quick check before we, uh, so we need some, because we've got seasons on and it's some of those grass, so it's taking care of that generally. But you know, hit the fill button and uh, we'll uh, give our cows all the food they need. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the cows and TMR. You can feed individual bales if you want. The, uh, I guess the main difference is it cuts out all of the grain based things including things like whole crop silage and maize silage um, so next I think we will jump over as I said if I've got a pallet of um, the power feed here and that will cover the grass and silage bars um, so it would be the top one and the bottom one um, the the mineral feed you don't need very much but it still contributes 25% to the cow's productivity um, so although it doesn't look like you need much leaving it out will affect the uh, output of your cows um, next we will head over to the sheep I think and for that I need to grab a bale of hay from here because the sheep pen that I have cannot provide enough grass for my sheep so we'll pick up a bale of hay and we'll head over there so if you download this map and wonder why it doesn't look the same there is actually normally a chicken pen just here but one of the great things about this map is you can sell pretty much everything that you own on your farm so I didn't want to do chickens because chickens do not interest me in farm sim particularly so I deleted it and we put in a sheep pen which is included with the map and it's a really nice sheep pen um, so for the sheep we have two bars we have one which is grass clover or alfalfa silage as I said and then one which is grass clover hay alfalfa hay or clover hay um, so we uh, we have over here um, and we also have some of the sheep feed which let me just check my notes I believe we'll cover both bars yeah so the uh, the sheep feed will cover both bars if you want to go that option and something that I was experimenting with which is a complete aside to this video is if you have the lizard pallet pack you can buy sheep food which is grass and guess what with seasons that rots um, it was something that I was going to include in the video, but that pallet's been sat there for about two days and has pretty much rotted away. So, uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Um, so we've got a bale of clover silage and we've got the bale of hay on there, or we could use the sheep feed. Um, depends where you are in the game, I guess, in your game, I guess, as to what option you've got available and what option you choose. So we'll stick some hay in for them. Uh, they don't need very much because there aren't very many sheep because it's not a very big pen i'm just going to drop that there for now i'll need to pick that up later and then we'll get some clover size you can see this bale has been used a bit to feed the sheep already and that's the sheep if you want to i'm just going to water them while i'm here uh, so if you want to you can use the sheep feed and that will cover everything for the sheep uh, otherwise grass or hay and some silage and they are good uh, okay on to the pigs i think so i will see you over there because we're going to switch vehicles so uh penultimate animal is pigs um i did a lot with pigs on one of my other saves so i'm i'm not so fast on playing with pigs but this is a nice little change in how the food works so um, we'll cover loose feed first and then I'll close the game come back out and I'll show you palletized feed because it's a bit different for pigs um, so we've got grass slash clover in my mind that represents the pigs foraging out in their yard um, obviously seasons will fill that grass up for us but imagine that includes all the bugs and things as well that they dig up um, we've got silage clover up alpha silage we've got potatoes and carrots and we've got beets um i can't actually show you potato shreds or beet shreds in this pig shed because it's too small to get the bucket into 
Um, but I'll show you loose feed and then I'll save and reload and show you how the palletized feed works. Um, and the fact, because the shed is so small, that's why I'm using this little Vermeer um, stand on skid steer thing, which is awesome. Uh, so if we bung in some uh, clover silage, this thing comes with its own special set of tools um, and they are really good. So you've got this bucket which holds 1200 litres I believe um, and then you've got a mini pallet fork. Uh, just there which is really cool and um, it seems to work really well so here we've got some potatoes and um, one thing is most pig sheds won't take bales you could edit that yourself or just do what I've done and uh, because I'm using global company I cut open a clover side bale that I brought um, that was a problem for me on uh, Oprah farm where I was doing the pigs as well um, so yeah, if, if you're going to really get into pigs, um, probably do it in a bunker, I would say. Um, so we, we don't need a huge amount of beets. I don't have many pigs again because this uh, shed doesn't hold many animals. So that will probably do us, yep. So this, this little vermeer is great if you've got a uh, small enclosure. Um, I'm not going to do the grass slash clover because Seasons is taking care of that for me. Just picked up some beets. So I will save and reload because there isn't space to put their feed in. And I'll show you what happens with the palletized food. And we're back. Obviously I didn't mean save and reload, I just meant reload. Um, because if I was saving it, that would have undone what I intend to show you now, which is we have um, all of the space available to feed the pigs. And we have two different types of pig food. We have the in-game one and we have the Doika pig food from uh, the farming agency. And they fill half of the feed each. Um, so I have these lizard pallets here of pig food. Um, they are the same as the in-game one. They just hold a lot more. Uh, so rather than being a thousand litres they are four thousand litres uh, if I could pick one up that would probably be really good um, yeah, as I said this Vermeer thing is really good at uh, picking and moving stuff about but yeah so we can see that has taken that and that has filled up the uh, clover silage and beets section um, so that acts basically as clover silage and beets. Um, so if we put that down and then we uh, out here, that uh, I have a stack of the doika feed, um, and this will cover the grass and uh, it will act as grass and carrots in the pig feeding. Um, I had to change it because it they're not getting green. You can see this, this little thing is awesome as well. So yeah, pig food all full. But yes, to do pig food you need the two different types of pig feed if you're going to buy it. Or just accept that you're only going to fill half of the bars. Um, so that's pigs done. Um, the last one is horses. So I will see you down at the horse yard. So we're down at the horse yard now and I've just brought some more horses so that they need some food. I guess the first thing to mention is with how I have changed things that if you buy the Doiko horse food pallets, that will cover two of the bars. Um, so if I open up the menu, we have grass and horse silage. Obviously you would use your horse silage in the winter and use seasons to graze grass through spring and summer. Uh, hay, alfalfa hay or horse hay and then carrots and if you use the, the palletized horse feed it'll do the grass bar and the carrot bar. Uh, grass and hay make up the majority of the horse's feed so you're going to be missing out a bit but you know uh, you could always buy some hay bales. Um, 
So we're going to jump in this little massy skid steer and uh, feed our horses. So I suspect most of you have stopped watching at this point because I don't think many people do horses in farm sim. Uh, I've only done them twice, I think. The trigger for this thing is really fussy as well. I found. Um, so excuse the faffing about, there we go. Um, so they've taken horse silage, they've taken quite a lot of horse silage because we're up to 12 horses now. I'm guessing this pen will hold 16, um, which is interesting to know because I am going to be doing horses on my next let's play. Um, Mr. Horse, you seem to be uh, stood in the middle of my shed. Yeah, you are. Uh, all right, we, we, we can get around you and get our bale. Um, so I had I had this shed in as somewhere to store some bales because I, say, I plan to do horses on this save. Uh, so let's see if we can find a uh, point for the bale trigger for the hay, and it looks like it's taken. Yep. So you can use alfalfa hay or normal hay for this. I just used horse hay because um, it was more specific for this example um, because I've added those in to the fill type, feed types and uh, I was buying the bales anyway because I, uh, I don't have any food produced on here yet. Uh, I'm going through a fairly lengthy setup process on this map but yeah, we'll, we'll grab some carrots if I can get hold of the. Uh... Actually, we'll do carrots with the. No, we won't do. Yeah, we'll do carrots with the bucket. Why not? And it might be easier if I can get the bucket in the shed. Mm. So this is. I can't remember who this um, skid's there by. It's by. It's quite an old mod actually. Um, but it's quite cool. It's really cheap, and uh, for doing this sort of stuff, it's perfect. I'm not driving very far. I need something small to fit in the shed. Am I going to get food or carrots? I've got carrots. Cool. So, yeah, this is uh, the uh, the little animal food additions that I've set up. Uh, if it doesn't do what you want to do, well, that, they obviously missed the uh, trigger then uh, jump into it and change it. Um, that's the great thing about how this is set up. There we go. Carrots didn't have enough, but mostly full. Uh, so we'll switch him off. We'll jump back over to the main farm because, as I said, I think the thing that most people are interested in is these guys and the fact that you have to have mineral feed now. Um, so, yeah, if you want to download this Animal Food Editions edit then there is a link below to go to the maze plus discord to download it um, if you've got any questions or comments on it leave me a comment in the video and i will try and answer them i have tested this for probably four or five hours and it all seems to work but it may not be perfect um, it may not be how you want it set up and if it's not then uh, dive into the xml there's a video for how to do that linked below as well and make your own changes um and i will see you at some point soon actually playing on this really awesome map catch you next time